How you doing today, Taggers? It's finally Q&A Friday. Today is the third installment of the Q&A series, and guess what? I'm still in the tent! Okay, I was asked a total of eight questions in the last Q&A video, so when I went to McDonald's for their Wi-Fi, I looked up and got two additional generated questions, and those are going to be first, and then the eight that was asked last week will then be answered. <laughs> what, and I wrote it down too, so I wouldn't forget them. Because guess why I don't have a computer to look at them. Anyways, like last week, it's going to be unedited. So here we go. Question number one. What is the first thing you do in the morning? Now or before? <sighs> now, first thing that I do in the morning? Let's see, I usually wake up, check my surroundings. Sometimes I forget that I'm in a tent. Sometimes I kind of forget that, hey, I'm I'm out of the house. But the first thing that I do... Hmm. Well, I guess I checked to see if it rained it last night. And luckily, it hasn't been raining. It's been hot. So the first thing I do is I wipe the sweat off my face. Uh, be more specifically, I guess I go out and I kind of scavenge around a little bit, see if I can find anything useful around the surrounding area. Uh, I haven't resorted to trying to hunt animals yet. Uh, hopefully I don't resort to that. Um, but uh, I normally check to see what I need if I need to do a Walmart run. Um, and if I do, that's the first thing I do. I do a Walmart run early in the morning before it gets too hot. Question number two, do you, do you prefer cats or dogs? I have a cat which I miss very much. Never thought I'd miss them. I've seen it for five days. Told them I'd be back. <laughs> Hope she isn't spreading some lies about me to him. And I can't edit this out. That's great. Crap. I'm gonna try to lighten the mood now. I'm sorry. Following eight questions is. Anyways, uh... question number three: How many tattoos do you have? I have a total of six. Six tattoos. Um. Okay. Um. I'm sorry, I was looking at the question to make sure if I have to get into detail, I don't have to get into detail because uh, well, the questions are later. Anyway, I have a total of six. Question number four, when did you get your first tattoo? This was back in 2009. Uh, July or August of 2009. It was uh, my first tattoo. I got a tattoo of I'm going to explain that later on because, like I said, it's ass. Anyway, I'm sorry. I can't edit these things out, so I'm sounding like an idiot. Baffling idiot. Oh, babbling, babbling. Ugh. Okay. Question number five. What do they mean? Here we go. What do they mean is the question. So, so I get to explain them all. First tattoo. Got my uh, first girlfriend's name on me. Thing is, it's a uh, like a memorial, I guess you'd say. Um, I haven't thought about this for some time, but at the same time it's on my mind every single day. Every, every 
damn day is on my mind and I think about it more and more now that I'm in this tent what my life would have been like with her I mean I love Kim so much but this was my first love I mean it's not Ashley Ashley, Ashley was definitely not my first love she was my first girlfriend but not my first love I mean true true love And I was going to talk about it a little bit in Throwback Thursdays, but Throwback Thursdays kind of not became a thing after a while, and I'm um, kind of glad they didn't, because I just felt it would be too hard for me to even talk about it without tearing up, and I kind of want to right now, I kind of want to just stop this thing and just not even talk about it anymore, but I feel like I have to get it off my chest at some point. Um... Sorry, uh, that was my first first tattoo. Uh, second tattoo is the snakes. This came from Natural Born Killers, Mickey Knox. Uh, he had the two snakes on his chest. It's not the exact same design, but I figured I'd go for a different design. I looked it up online, two snake, and um, and I. The thing is, I got it. They're, them coming out of a heart kind of symbolizing a little bit, you know, you know, evil from a heartbreak. Uh, third, third tattoo, the two fish, yin and yang. Again, that's from Natural Born Killers, where uh, Mickey Docs had the yin and yang symbol on that same arm. But I chose to have it as two fish because Avatar the Airbender was my favorite anime series. Could that be considered anime? I guess animation. That was my favorite TV series ever. Next to Inuyasha. Um, so I decided to get that. Fourth tattoo. It's another memorial. I decided to get that for my mom. Um... Thing is, my mom had passed. I was telling you guys a little bit about her in Throwback Thursdays. So I think I'm hearing something. I don't see any shadows, so hopefully nobody found this tent. I can't pause or anything to go find out right now. But um Shortly after my mom had lost me, she passed away in a car accident. Sometimes it's painful to even think about. But the thing is, I was kind of young when it happened. But the day, the days don't make it better. They don't. They they don't make it better at all. I mean, yeah, you get through day by day, little by little, but the pain stays there. It's not, the pain doesn't get, when, when they say that, you know, the pain goes away or the pain gets better, no, it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. Sometimes I, I just, sometimes I feel like it just happened yesterday, but I don't want to get too much into these, really. I mean, it's already breaking my heart right now thinking about this but um anyway uh fifth fifth tattoo from Rick and Morty Mr. Me Seeks existence is pain that is no lie that is no lie at all existence is definitely pain Ex every day is pain but the thing is, you gotta throw out a smile. Smile on through the, all this crap. And just hopefully, you know, someday it will get better. You, you know, you just, you know, hope you meet the right person and circumstances happen to where things, you know, change. But the thing is, when you're trapped up inside of a tent or outside, of, you know, outside in the wilderness with nothing but your thoughts that consume you, it's kind of hard to put on a smile and, th and say to yourself that your life is great and that your life is gonna get better. 
it, sometimes it feels like a damn lie that you know somebody tells you just so that you know they don't have to listen to all your problems that your life is okay that your life is gonna get better who the hell even comes up with that oh your life is great your life's gonna get better no mm -mm. no uh I just hope that one of these days I am gonna be let back in my house and I am and I can try to just forget about everything you know I just gotta go back to what I was doing go back to you guys you know I can upload you know stuff on my PC you know on my computer lay down in my own bed and I won't have to deal with all this hot mess and I, you know what the one thing I do miss the most you want to know the thing I actually miss the most I actually miss a shower and I think the first thing I'm going to do when I get back inside the house I am going to take an hour long shower I don't care how much it's going to cost in a water bill that's the first thing I'm going to do second thing I am washing these clothes or maybe that would be the third thing, because the second thing is a long nap. Very long. Anyways, uh, sixth tattoo. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that Snickers commercial. No regrets. I was originally going to put it up over over on this arm where the uh, guy was getting his. But since I already put my mother's initials on my arm, you know, I didn't want to put it below that because it makes it seem like I regret my decision of getting that tattoo, and I don't. I honestly don't. Anyways, um, question number six. Why did you get them? Memorial, favorite movie. Favorite movie. Memorial. A saying that means everything to me. And because I like that, I like that commercial. I like No Regrets. It's actually kind of funny, and I need to have a little comedy in my life. Um, did it hurt? Question number seven. Did it hurt? This one, not really. This one, yeah, because when they I, they lay me down on my back, so instead of the needle being here, the needle was up here in my throat. This one didn't really I'm sorry uh third one sort of not bad because it was a um, an outline and a shade so that didn't hurt uh I can't remember the others oh but I know the me seeks that one was bleeding constantly because of the kind of needle that they had to use other than that I don't remember any of the other ones really being all that painful question number eight do you want more tattoos yes I actually want a total of ten um Oh, I forgot. Question number nine, I asked it already. If so, what tattoos do you want? Um, that's six more. I want to get Vitag on my back. Uh, from shoulder blade to shoulder blade, but I want to do that when I when I hit 100,000 subscribers, so that's going to be way down the road since I only got 448 the last time I looked. Um, 563, which is the area code of Davenport. I'm going to get that below, below the uh, Vitag. I want to get the la uh, get some two skulls uh, below the shoulder blade, which is going to be the laugh now, cry later. That's uh, three so far. And the last, um, there's actually two I've been toying with, so I don't know which ones I'm going to get first. Um, I th think about getting uh, like two two guns and each gun is a hand like you know they're shaking hands and on either side of the hand is a gun and below that it says trust no one which is another saying I'm gonna live true that's true totally you know in my life is trust no one sorry I'm sweating like I said since I can't edit these videos I'm just gotta bear with it my shirt is definitely gonna need to be washed <sighs> my camera is starting to overheat that's great. That's one thing I need. This one thing to stay in contact with you guys. It's going to overheat. Um, okay, question number 10. Last question, which is good because it's about 15 minute mark. Have you ever designed your own tattoo? This one was just basic. Um, I wanted to have a uh, Here David Fancy Letters, the guy I went to. He presented one, and I said that's perfect because it actually was. It's actually more perfect than I even could have thought of it being. And I know it's just a round and simple 
heart. That's all I wanted. I just wanted a simple tattoo. Um, everything else, I mean, I mean, define design. Are you talking about you taking two different designs and putting it together? Because yeah, I took a Celtic heart and I put her initial. My, I put my mother's initials on there. Um, the existence is pain. I used two different fonts. Um, on the pain, I wanted to have blood dripping, but he didn't use the the red uh, tattoo thing, uh, tattoo ink. I didn't get a chance to specify that's what I wanted. But, I mean, it's not bad anyway. Um, uh, the fish definitely was already uh, from, like I said, Avatar. So, was, you know, I didn't design that myself. And Nova Girls was already a pre-designed thing anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the only thing, only tattoo I actually designed. Well, the snakes coming out of the hearts, uh, out of, I'm sorry, out of the heart. That was sort of uh, two designs sewn together. There was a two snakes like that, yeah. Um, but I decided, a, uh, I told the guy, I want them coming out of a heart, you know. And when I was watching Natural Born Kills, it looked like it was an upside down heart. I didn't realize that the snakes were intertwined in such a way that made it look like a heart. Um, I guess that's what I get for not watching a movie very carefully, before it being my favorite movie. I mean, I watched that movie over ten times, and I still didn't catch that. But, um... Yeah, I caught it after I got the tattoo of all timing. That I finally caught it to it. Oh, darn. You know, after it was already done. So, anyways. Yeah, that's the only thing. Those two are the only things I actually... Well, and like I said, uh, in the existence of pain. Um, the font on that one was sort of designed. So, that's it. That's the end of my uh, Q&A. Um, you guys wanted to... Uh, guys have any questions for next week let me know in the comment section down below i'm more than happy to answer for you guys next week hopefully i'm in the house by then can't keep dealing with this hot weather hopefully it's going to get better soon hopefully and hopefully it doesn't rain but if it does rain it might make it cool i tell you what, i have to find somewhere to put my belongings then just in case this thing isn't exactly waterproof anyways i'll catch you guys later on thank you guys for watching Bye bye